In this lecture, we're going to be looking at external stability, or input-output stability, and uh, we're going to look at something called BIBO stability, bounded input, bounded output stability. And so that's what we're going to be looking at in this lecture. So we've talked a little bit about Lyapunov stability, and we've looked at Lyapunov stability for linear systems and how that plays out. So now we're looking at external BIBO stability, another definition of stability. So this is often referred to as external stability, in which case we need to know property of signals and norms of signals, <clears throat> and we'll actually need to look at norms of systems as well. So, and the question with this whole thing is, for example, if an input is a bounded function, the question is, will the output be a bounded function? Or is it possible for us to apply a bounded input and the output blow up? Okay, so that's the question of BIBO stability. So uh, notice with things like asymptotic stability or exponential stability, we were looking at systems without inputs. So here we're looking at systems with inputs. And so we, we want to see now how, how is it that the input can affect the system. So we know in general for a system, a system with an input, that we have a natural response and we have a forced response. So we've already checked basically the, the asymptotic stability, the exponential stability, quadratic stability, uh, all of those are associated with uh, the natural response of the system. Is the natural response stable? And so, the but that ignores the input, the input map. And so in this case, we're actually looking at the stability of the system uh, as applying an input. Now we're assuming zero initial conditions. We're going to apply an input to the system. Is it possible to get an output that is unstable, that it blows up? So in this case, it's referred to as external stability because we're looking at the input and the output. We're not seeing what's actually going on inside. Asymptotic stability and, and so forth, that's really concerned with what's happening inside. Okay, so we can talk about a number of different kinds of stability, Bible stability for LTI systems, P stability of LTI systems. So, so what, is, what is all this? So in brief, given an input U and a system operator. So this is the operator of our system. In general, we will be looking at convolution operators. Okay, so that's the kind of operator we'll be looking at. And then we want to find, find out what's going on with the system that way. So our output U is S operating on, uh, our output Y is given by S operating on U as a function of time. So this is the output of our system. Again, it's our system operating, being operated on, uh, uh, operating on some input. So we have an input. We have the definition, the system is p-stable if there's some constant, not, uh, some non-negative constant finite, where the output norm is less than or equal to the constant times the input norm for all u within some, uh, within the uncertainties, uh, I'm sorry, within the Banach space, either L, capital LP or little lp. We'll talk about what this means a little, little later. Um, and then BIBO stability basically refers to this kind of stability, p stability, when p is equal to infinity. Okay. Otherwise, p is going to be from is going to can be varying from one to infinity, and so we'll, we'll, we've got a few things to define here, and we'll see that as we come up in the in the other lectures. <clears throat>